with these pumps, how can I tell if they're on or off? Maybe I want to add some color on top of them that is showing their state. Um, same thing with the valves. Uh, maybe I want to change the liquid color in these tanks. How can I start doing all of that? And so that's going to take us to phase two here, which is to actually get into the properties of these components. And so if I click on any of these components, you'll see this property editor in the bottom left-hand corner gets populated. And that's true of anything I click on on the screen. Every component, every image has properties. And so if I wanted to change that tank color, I could scroll down here and I could just, you know, change the color of that liquid. Um, and that updates automatically. Um, now with this, what's most useful is to do something like adding the status as an overlay over one of these uh, pumps here. And so what I'm gonna do is to do an overlay, I want it to be the same shape and size as this pump one here. And so what I'm gonna do is rather than, you know, just modify its properties, I am going to do control D to duplicate it so that I have a duplicate pump right over the top of this one. And I don't want this one to have all of the graphics. And so I'm gonna use this little union button up at the top. And what that does is it takes every little detail about that and it just merges it all together to be one flat shape, still right over the top of my pump. Now with this, um, I want to have the color of this overlay be semi-transparent so you can see through it, but also to be based on the status of my pump. And so what I can do here is you can see in my property editor, I have a fill paint property. And I'm gonna click this little binding icon, which will allow me to define what the fill paint should be based on a tag. And so the tag that we're gonna use for this one will be pump one. And so with that, if the value is zero, then maybe I want to have this be red and I'll make it semi-transparent here. But if it's on, then I want it to be green. But once again, maybe semi-transparent here. And then lastly, if it's a two, it's in a manual mode and so We'll go ahead and make it yellow, semi-transparent, but also maybe I want it to flash at me. And so you can choose blink here. I'll make it orange, but we will make it semi-transparent as well. So with that, um, we are able to use this property editor down below to base the color, the fill paint of this on the tag pump one. And we're able to take its value and do a number to color translation to have it have a semi-transparent fill. So with that, I say, okay. And you can see right now, pump one uh, is on. And so it is green. But with this, you know, it's gonna take some time to make that change to pump two and to pump three and to pump four, and then do the same thing for valve one, valve two, valve three. And, you know, this is just one screen. You may have multiple screens for your project and so it doesn't make sense to go and add uh, individual uh, you know, property changes like that necessarily on every instance of a pump. Um, and so with this, that actually takes us to our third phase, which is templates. And so with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that same change that we just did on that pump, but instead, of doing it on each one individually, I'm gonna do it in a template and then we can just apply that to every instance. So with this, I select those, I'm gonna copy it and we're gonna go ahead into our templates and I'm going to make a new template that I'm gonna call pump. And for this, I'm just gonna paste in that pump graphic that we had. Now with this, if I look at that binding that we just created, it is tied specifically to pump one. But we don't want the template to be just a pump one. We actually want it to be based on any pump and then we could just pass in the pump number. 
and it would automatically know which tag we should be looking at. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to add a custom property and that custom property will be called pump num. And it will be an integer. And I just go ahead and say, okay. And now with this, instead of binding directly to a tag, we're going to choose this indirect tag. And I'm going to go ahead and select pump one, but instead of doing the one, I'm actually going to put that one in as a variable. So you see it shows up as a reference here, and I'm going to bind that variable to that pump num custom property that we just added to the template. And so now, uh, based on whatever we pass into this template, it'll populate the number for our tag path. And once again, when we get that value, then we want it to uh, be a specific color based on uh, what the value is. And so I add this number to color translation again, and that will be, sorry. Um, see, this is why I need you guys watching me because now I'm changing the colors. So with that, we now have red is for zero, one is green, and two will alternate between yellow and orange. All right. So with that, that's now complete. I've done a complete template here. I could add other things like an LED display or um, you know, other elements to this template, but we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to go back to my screen here. And rather than having to go and add these properties to each of these pumps, I can just uh, delete the pumps that are there. And instead, what I'm going to do is pull out my pump template. And you'll see it has a template property, that custom property that we added. We know it's custom because it's blue. I'm just going to say this is pump two. And then duplicate that. This will be pump three. And duplicate that. This will be pump four. Um, and so you can see there, now we've got all of our pumps. They're all getting their colors uh, based on their appropriate tags. And if I have additional pumps on other screens or additional ones for this screen, all I have to do is add an instance of that template and then give it its custom property of pump num. Now with this, um, the other things you can do with templates would be if I wanted to make a change and so I want my colors to be different um, than this, you know, spectrum of green, red, and then flashing between yellow and orange. What we can do is rather than going to each instance of this template, I could just go to the template definition. I can make the change there once. It'll automatically um, be added to every instance of that template. So. With this, uh, we've now done phase one, which was all drag and drop. We did phase two, which was introducing you to component properties and how you could modify those. Um, and then phase three, which was rather than doing each of the properties individually on each instance of a component, instead you could create a template and uh, through indirection, you could apply that over and over uh, throughout your project.